Lesson 4, Managing Partitions Part 1 Creating Partitions Partitions make it possible for you to create extremely large cubes. You can effectively create small, medium-sized, and even remarkably large cubes without using partitions. But partitions are useful when you need to create very large, enterprise-wide applications. For that reason, the ability to manage multiple partitions is available only with Microsoft SQL Server Enterprise Edition. One of the benefits of creating multiple partitions is that you can design different storage for different portions of the cube. A second major benefit of creating partitions is that you can process a partition independently of the rest of the cube. A client application has no awareness of let alone control over partitions used on the server. You can modify the design of partitions without affecting any client application. The most important task when creating partitions is to make sure that each appropriate value from the fact table or fact tables makes it into one and only one partition. Analysis services provides two techniques to avoid double counting. Create a separate fact table for each partition. Specify a filter to restrict rows from the fact table. In this film, you delete the default partition, and then create two new partitions by using partition queries that filter data by sales date. Click Partition tab. Right-click the Transactions Facts table partition. Click Delete, and then click OK. Click the New Partition link to launch the Partition Wizard. Click Next. Select Transactions Facts table in the available tables list, and then click Next. Select the specifier query to restrict rows checkbox and change the query. The first partition should include only data from 2011 year. Click check and then click OK. You can locate partitions on different servers. Change the name of the partition to Transactions Facts Table 2011 and click Finish. Design aggregations. Process the cube.
click browser tab. Now, there is the data from 2011 year in the cube. Creating second partition. In the same way, create a second partition. Process the cube. Click reconnect button. Part 2. Processing partitions. Click Partition tab. Right click Partition and select Process. Click Run. Click Close twice. You can process the second partition. Part 3. Merging Partitions Start SQL Server Management Studio, click Analysis Services in the Server Type List box, type Server Name, and then click Connect. Expand the following items in the tree, Databases, Car transactions OLAP, cubes, car transactions, measure groups, transactions facts table, and partitions. Right click the transactions facts table 2010 partition, and then click merge partitions. In the source partitions section, select the merge checkbox for transactions facts table 2011 and click OK. Right click the partitions folder, and then click refresh. Now the transactions facts table 2011 partition is no longer available. Part 4. Closing Visual Studio Project. By merging partitions in SQL Server Management Studio, 
the car transactions database is no longer synchronized with the solution that is currently open in Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, on the file menu, click Close Project. Click Yes. Part 5, Importing Analysis Services 2008 Database On the File menu, click New, and then Project. In the New Project dialog box, click Import Analysis Services 2008 Database. Choose Project, type name and click OK. Click Next on the Welcome page. Select Car Transactions OLAP in the Database drop-down list, click Next, and then click Finish. Open the cube, and then click the Partitions tab. You can see only one partition. You can change the data range. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learn with video tutorials com